If AI is going to replace any job, it must be level one or those really basic repetitive jobs. However, there is a lot more nuance to this than meets the eye. Now, in the real world in cybersecurity, things are a little bit messy. So when we say level one SOC analyst, it's supposed to mean the analysts who perform basic triage and basic incident response where more often than not, they will escalate any complex issues to level one or more experienced analyst. However, as I've said here on this channel before, job titles are a little bit messy. A level one SOC analyst in one organization could be performing completely different tasks than a SOC level one analyst in a different organization. So it's not really a standardized way of doing work. Not only that, but also in small to medium sized organizations, it's very rare that you see SOC level one or SOC level two analyst. Instead, you see something like a SOC analyst title or a cyber analyst title or even a cybersecurity specialist title where you're supposed to do more than one task. You may be analyzing incidents, you may be responding to incidents, but you you may also be performing GRC tasks or vulnerability management or even penetration testing. I've seen this in some organizations. Therefore, we can't just say that AI will replace this particular type of job because things are a little bit messy and organizations are extremely small at adopting new technologies. Now, what I believe will happen is that we will see the tools start to improve gradually. So I expect a little bit of improvement when it comes to detecting cyber incidents. But is it going to completely replace analysts? I don't think so. In fact, the majority of organizations that I see nowadays, they struggle to get the job done. Cyber analysts are extremely busy. They always complain that they are overworked and under-resourced. So if AI is going to take care of some of those tasks, this will free up the time of analysts to do more of the things that they currently don't have time to do. However, there is another really interesting and important point that I want you to be prepared for which is the fact that organizations are increasingly looking for generalists. They don't want you to be just a SOC analyst or just a vulnerability analyst. Instead, they want you to be adaptable and do more than one task. Therefore, in my roadmaps, I always advocate for growing a broad set of skills. Don't be married to one technology. Don't just be the Splunk girl or the penetration testing guy. Instead, have an open mind and learn a bit of everything because you don't know what's gonna happen in the future. This is my way of future-proofing my career and your career as well.